senile in chief. You guys, we all know Biden isn't home. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot. Don't mess with the men in America unless you want to get the benefit. Any journalist who's talking about the Biden administration are saying Biden is doing this, Biden is doing that. It should be a job for them to put it in quotes. This guy is not home. Biden came out and he pulled a Ron Burgundy and was reading the teleprompter and then read the pause part. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Four more years. Go f yourself, San Diego. It is so horrific to know that our country is being run by, we don't even know who, it doesn't matter. Biden is not home. It's a ghost in the machine. It's whoever the young activists and lobbyists and whatever, he's just a stand-in, which is even more terrifying. Who's actually making any of these decisions? It really just goes to show how much of a figurehead the president of the United States is in this country. But it's also just terrifying that they can parade this weekend at Biden's around, no big deal, just acting like everything's fine. Biden isn't doing anything. He's not home. And this, it's not even like this is the, the last year of his presidency. Like, he, they're campaigning him for four more years. Like, any, what the fuck? Anybody with good hacking skills could hack that teleprompter and start World War Three. <laughs> Tell Maggie in the comments... What you would have Biden say, meet puppet Biden? <laughs> that pussy be blessing. That's what I would have him say. Four more years. That pussy be blessing. <laughs> and don't come in my comments and say we can go four years without a president because we all saw what happened with the Academy Awards when they let go of having a host and it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> We at least need some sort of semblance of a figurehead in charge. Someone we can point to and blame. Someone who's ostensibly making decisions, even if they're clearly not. And someone who will take the fall in the event that the nukes start falling all around us. He did something the past week where he was saying, telling some doddering old man story about how his uncle was eaten by cannibals. <laughs> For a single engine plane, reconnaissance flights over New Guinea. Got shot down in an area where there were a lot of uh, cannibals. Even if that's true, you should have the wherewithal as the president to know that that would cause some diplomatic issues, perhaps with Papua New Guinea. And he doesn't even have that sensibility, even after he was corrected, even after his lying POS press secretaries took it all back, even after they corrected it for him, he went out and told the same story again. And then everybody was like, LOL, the White House transcript of the event where Biden said, pause, four more years, pause, read inaudible. I'm like, this is not LOL. This is sinister. This is sinister shit. We are blatantly, be, there, there's a puppet in the White House, Biden. I posted this meme, Biden 2024, as a joke to be like, this is not the person who's running. And everyone thinks that I'm just posting a Biden 2024 poster. And now they're all mad at me, which is also <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Guys, there's no fucking way I'm voting for this guy, okay? There's no way ever. There's no way I could vote for him ever in a million years. The shit that they have done using government agencies and not even legislation, which is all in breaking Bridget, but not to mention the bullying they've done to push through their legislation. I can't in good conscience title nine, the independent contractor rule, the freaking FinCEN stuff we covered with Carol Roth. I could go on and on and on, not to mention FISA, all of it, uh, no, this administration's fucked and they keep using all of these organizations to do their bidding instead of actually, you know, representing the American people. They're just selling us out. Fuck that. I'm, I'm so over it. Here's the other thing, guys. I will do this show until the election. And if Biden wins, I am not doing this show anymore. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? It is done. 
I'm over it. I'm done. We're we're ending it. I can't do another four more years of Biden. At least Trump is hilarious. <laughs> Don't worry about that baby. I love babies. So I love babies. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. <laughs> you just terrified like 30 people. <laughs> 30 people? Oh, that- no. <laughs> I mean, we might have to shut this show down anyways, because truthfully, I'm not sure there's an appetite for snarky, middle of the road, lunatics, old ladies like me in such polarized times. And our numbers are going down quite drastically. <laughs> And our sponsorship is as well. So I'm not sure financially it is going to be anywhere near a thing that we can do in the future, but we will do our best to stumble across the finish line that is 2024 election. And we will carry you on our backs with us. And then if Biden wins, I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not doing it. It's too sinister and it's too real. Like, I I at least can make fun of the dumb shit that Trump says and does on a daily basis because we'll probably get daily press conferences again. I might be done if Trump wins, too, to be honest. We might be done because truthfully, no one finds this funny anymore. Yeah, and we're tied to this news cycle that we're like, oh, God. And I want out. No, <laughs> I love doing this for the, the honestly, there's been many times where I've wanted to quit. And every single time I want to quit this show, I get like three emails from people telling me how grateful they are for the show. If now is the moment that you're like, you know what? I've been watching the show. I'm going to pony up and subscribe. This would be the moment to do it. (laughs) Let us know you love us. Um, If you can't, I understand. We really are here just to like entertain you. But honestly, I don't know, guys. Unless there's some outcry from thousands of people who are like, we need it. And there might be. Unless there is like a flood of people subscribing to Fetacy to show their support. (laughs) I'm not going to hold my breath. (laughs) Somebody help me. If I stop doing dumpster fire, I can be like Maggie. (laughs) And Maggie can go back to being Maggie. And have no idea. And we can be blissfully aware until they tell us to go to a fallout shelter, which we don't have. (laughs) We'd like to thank our sponsor, Sheath Underwear. I'm wearing these booty shorts right now, and my husband is constantly like, your ass looks amazing in those when I'm just bopping around in them. They're so comfortable. They are the most adorable little boy shorts that they have. They also have a new thong for women. I'm starting with the women because Mother's Day is coming up, so get your woman some sweet new undies that you're going to want to Smack that ass over and over again. They also have the dual pouch system for men. And it keeps everything nice and compartmentalized so that when you're mowing the lawn and doing your yard work and out there throwing the ball with your kids in your nice Americana dream, you can be wearing sheath underwear, the underwear of champions. Truly now, they are sponsoring the UFC. Please go to sheathunderwear.com, use the code DUMPSTER to get 20% off your entire order. Mother's Day's coming up, Father's Day's coming up. These are such good gifts, and they sell out often, so get on it, and link is in the description below.